Hi, my name is Bob. I'm the author of the Yetzig Web Framework. And today I'm just going to give a quick demo of some stuff I've been working on recently, which isn't ready yet, but it's really looking quite cool. And it's going to massively improve the feedback loop when you're working on a Yetzig project um, by reducing the build time by using Zig's new incremental compilation. So I'm just going to give a quick demo of using the before and after so that you can see what it will look like. Uh, it's not quite ready yet because we still need to do some integration with various different libraries, waiting for a few issues with the incremental compilation itself to be resolved. But overall, it's looking really promising. So we'll start with a legacy project. So this is just using Yetzig main. So this is just the Yetzig CLI tool, but built from the main branch. So I'm going to start a server here and you can see that it's already going to take quite a long time to load. We don't get much feedback here because it's just compiling in the background and it will only display any um, output if there is any errors. Otherwise, it will just launch a welcome message. So we can just kind of sit here and wait for this to load. It really does take quite a long time. There we go. So it's finally finished. It's probably around uh, between 15 and 20 seconds, I would guess. And then if we go to localhost uh, 8080, then we can see our website here. And then if we go over here and let's just say that we want to make a change. So we'll just insert some random text here. And then the Yetzig command line detects a change and then recompiles the entire project and then we'll restart the server automatically. So it's quite convenient that it, it already does this for us and you know it's better than nothing and you can make it work as long as you're sort of careful with the changes that you make and you're not expecting a very quick feedback loop. But as you can see, it really is quite slow. That's finally finished. We refresh and we can see hello on the screen. So pretty frustrating, but it does work. So if we go over to um, another view here, this is some stuff that we've been working on. So this is on our no LLVM branch. Um, you can try playing with it if you like, but yeah, it's not ready for use at the moment. So if we start our server with um, the dash dash incremental option, so it immediately starts the server, but it's doing the initial compilation now. And what it's doing in the background is zig build dash dash watch dash f incremental. And uh, that enables the zig compiler to just continue running. And then it will also monitor for changes and it will do incremental compilation. So only recompiling the functions that it needs to. Now you could see straight away that even recompiling the first time was actually really quick compared to the, um, on the, on the uh, original branch, on the main branch. Um, and if we can go to localhost here, um, now just before I go here, you can see I've put in a refresh here um, of one second. So this is just going to refresh every one second. This is just to demo the functionality. We don't have any kind of live loading or anything like that yet, but we do have some ideas for how that might work in the future. So we go to the web page here and you can see I've got some junk here. So I'm just going to um, go to the root.zig and I'm going to change this message and put in hello here and that should just recompile. Now there's a bit of a debounce there just while it waits for things to, um, you know, definitely make sure that no files have, only one file has changed in that time. And that first compilation a little bit slow just because it's compiling things for the first time. And that hasn't quite worked because I've probably left the other server running. Yeah. There we go. And if I just refresh this, there we go. So I've got my message hello there and you can see that it's just making repeated requests over and over. So it's just refreshing that page. Then if I change this here, goodbye. And you can see here, it's going to take about maybe about a second, a second and a half. A really cool thing here is that this is actually only the beginning of how fast it can get because Although this is really nice and fast now, and this is honestly probably workable for most use cases, um, we're actually having to compile twice just because of some weird sort of edge cases to do with the way that the template compilation works. Um, so if we can work around that and deal with some generated files, that seems to be a bit of an issue with, uh, an issue with incremental compilation. If we can work around those issues, then I think we should be able to get uh, the restart time down to sub one second, maybe down to about 200 milliseconds, which could be really cool, especially if we look at things like live loading, like I talked about before. But really, that's just uh, early stages at the moment. And just really quickly before I wrap up, I'm going to go to the template and I'm just going to put in some garbage here. Cool. I think I had a cached version of the template before. And uh, am I looking? Yeah, there you go. So you can see the message just appeared there. 
So it's not instant, we can get it much faster. And I really think this is workable for just about every use case. So yeah, it's really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to this being merged. Unfortunately, it is gonna be a little while while we wait for things to get ready on uh, the Zig features themselves. And there's gonna be bugs because there's gonna be projects that just depend on LLVM. There's gonna be features missing in a self hosted compiler. But this is what the future of Yetzig and you know Zig projects in general could look like. So really, really cool. Um, thanks a lot for your time. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.